Hello. Today I am going to show you how to use my DAS to Skyrim uh, CBBE preset that I made. Uh, I've also made the SMMB preset for DAS um, to make converting over quite easy. So today I'll show you how to use the female one. <clears throat> I'll show you where it goes in your folders, yada yada. So first off when you download the mod you are going to get these files okay you're gonna have these two files a duff file is what you need is the shape the, the PNG is just a picture of what goes along with it in the folders so I'm gonna go ahead and open up DAS and what you want to do you want to go to your C drive um, go to users, your name, go to your documents, DAS 3D Studio, My Library, Scenes. And this is where you want to drop those two, those two files. As you can see, I got my SMAB shape here and something I was working on. But um, these two here, you just drop them there. And then as you have uh, DAS Studio open, you could just drag and drop the DUF file into the scene. Now for you, what you're going to want to do first off is you're going to want to save this as a scene. Okay, as soon as you drag and drop this and this comes up like this, save it as a scene. Um, say, you know, name it like I named it, um, CBB shape. Okay, you're going to want to save it in the scenes folder where I showed you. Okay. And you can just just name it that. Save. It's gonna ask you to overwrite. It's fine. Okay. Boom. So now you've got your scene saved. If you want to set it up like this, you know, it takes a little. I forget exactly how I did it, but um, if anything, you could drag and drop, or you could go here, open, and it'll search for your your DUF files and stuff. Uh, within the documents folder, so you'd go to scenes and you'll go to that and it would load in the CBB shape Okay So now I've been working on something um, Lady Dimitri Q From Resident Evil 8. I know somebody made the mod already, but I don't care. I'm doing it anyway um, So in Daz you would just drag and drop it to the body and it'll fit. Um, you do need the transfer tool, I believe it comes standard now. So um, there you go, it's fitted pretty well. All you have to do from here is select each piece, which this is the dress. I would go to export. <clears throat> I've already done these, so I'm not going to do them again. But you name address, you know, just go like that for now. Save. These are my export settings from Daz Studio. So go ahead and pause or uh, you know take a screenshot of those right there and you would hit accept leave it at 1% that's correct 1% okay and then that'll export okay so now you have a CBBE shape Daz export um, exported file so now what you're going to want to do is open up 3ds max and why this preset is so fabulous is because it it positions arms and fingers almost exact um, so you, there's less working you know there's less work involved so let's just do that I'm going to import my dress that I've already exported a while back is my dress these are my OBJ import settings from DAS to 3DS um, you want to have import a single mesh import it as a editable poly retriangulate the polygons you're going to center the pivots keep the texture coordinates smoothing groups import from file the normals and now with the scale you have to scale it to 73 okay make sure that scaled up to 73 or this will not work the way I've set it up 
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and import that. Okay, so now got the dress imported. Um, here we are. Okay, so the way we do things, um, Daz flips your faces, yada yada. Most of you already know that. So. What you're going to do is select your entire mesh here. Go over to polygons. You're going to click preserve UVs. Control A to select all the polygons. And you're going to flip them. Okay. And then I like to select the vertices. Keeping the preserve UVs on. Control A again. And I like to weld them to a point zero one, sometimes even zero zero one. There we go. Those are welded. We're good. Okay, great. Okay, and now, seeing how we have 126,000 polygons, that's way too many. So we're going to hit the modifier stack. We're going to put a Prom Optimizer on there. Hit Keep Textures and Keep UV Boundaries. And hit Calculate. Okay, so at 100% vertices, you're going to have 126,000 triangles. We can't do that. That will not work for Skyrim, so we'll cut it down 50%. 50% works. Um, it didn't tear up the mesh too bad. It's not bad, I'll keep that, I'm happy with that. So we're gonna right click in the viewport, go to convert to, and hit convert to editable poly, which will apply those changes we just made to the mesh. Okay, so now, I'm, and I've also made a tool for this. Uh, the exact process I just showed you with flipping faces, welding vertices, and pro optimizing um, is right here. I will release that soon. So now that we're done, we're just going to export it to, as an OBJ, to my folder of choice. And these are my OBJ export options. Um, this I keep polygons, doesn't matter. They're already triangles, um, so it will export as triangles anyway. You're good. Just copy these settings here and you're good. Precision's 4, scale's 1 on this. You leave the scale to 1 and hit export and you'll see it export. If it takes way too long, then it didn't export, right? And you'll see here um, the number of triangles is 62,857. The maximum number of triangles that you can have per mesh, per NIF file is 65,656 so just so you know okay so now that that's exported I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close max out I'm gonna load up mod organizer 2 so I can get into body slide alpha studio rather and show you the rest of this process so direct from 3DS into Alpha Studio, you would load your reference, which would be a CBBE shaped body. I use 3BA. Okay. And then you would simply import your OBJ from 3DS. We got the dress there that we just exported. Okay, we will put that on the dress. There we go. I'm going to delete these because I don't need those. Okay, and with the dress, you're going to go to scale. Right click on right click on the dress in Alpha Studio, go to scale. And you are going to bring these down to 137. Okay. All of them should be uniform at 0.137. Hit OK. 
And there you have it. It's damn near fitted. Which, what I do is... I bring that back a little. Daz likes to... Likes to crook at your meshes as well. But, uh... All in all, this is a pretty... Pretty dead-on fit. A little pushing and pulling. Um, that is top notch you know what I'm saying since she's so skinny we could even slim it down and just fit it a little better there you go you know little scale on the on the x-axis there and you're good um, so that's how you use my CBBE preset so now um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post it on the website as you guys can probably already tell from this video but I want to thank everybody that actually checks out this video for the knowledge and I appreciate the support. Keep it coming. Much love. I'm out.